The discourse of knowledge building communities results in the sharing, refinement, and transformation of knowledge. The explicit goal of these discursive practices is to advance the learning community's knowledge. I think the kids learn that when you get up in front of a class, you have to be prepared to defend and justify your decisions and about content that you choose to include, so what you consider to be important content, design choices of whatever it is that you're uh, presenting. The kids also came to realize that they have choices in how they receive feedback. They can deny and just dig in and say, no, you're wrong. They can concede and just accept, yep, I need to make improvements. They can stand your grounds and defend your choices. And I think there was one girl in the class uh, who became very strong at that. So whereas previously she was not confident about defending her choices in the classroom, she came to recognize that it's an important thing to be able to really understand your project deeply so that when you're up here, you can justify why you're, you've presented it in a certain way. We talked about being able to blow things off. Um, and that it's really important to consider the merits of the critique. Do you agree? Do you disagree? And do that in a reasoned way where the emotions aren't getting involved. There's a time called gather or inquiry. And, and what you do is we'd all sit on the perimeter of the carpet and then someone, and someone would ask Robin if they could start and they'd ask a question. And people would raise their hands and see if they like, and they would have a theory or an answer. And it would just like build from there. It's about making learning go back to how children, adults naturally learn. You know, mm -hmm. when we, uh, the idea of a knowledge building talk, discourse, is about having people share ideas, people listening, building on to those ideas, asking questions, and that the discourse is sort of going all over the place. When we think of a classroom, often in a traditional classroom, the discourse is teacher, student, mm -hmm. teacher, student, and even a well-intentioned teacher will repeat what a child has said mm -hmm. to project it. We're depriving children of those skills of listening and projecting your voice and building on. And you've talked about how you know children, it, it, what we're doing is making their thinking visible when we create these discourse mm -hmm. opportunities.